Kwase County hosts over 96 public primary schools, which for many years have suffered from acute water shortage and poor sanitation. According to the United Nations Children Fund, UNICEF, factors related to water, sanitation and hygiene affect the children's right to education in many ways. Research has shown 400 million school children are affected by water and sanitation related diseases every year. Consequently, this has hindered their learning abilities at different levels. We are having only one, one block. That is, uh, there were four toilets for the boys and four toilets for the girls. 302 girls and 315 boys. The situation in the toilet was so, so bad that uh, even our own children would not even dare go in. You'd meet the, the, the maggots on the way. The child goes in, finds nowhere to, 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 to step. There is a poo poo on the floor, there are maggots, there's urine. <laughs> Watu wakiingia hawaezi kupumua harufu mbaya na kulikuwa hakuna milango. Mwenzake akienda akienda chone anamuona vile anavyofanya haja zake. Our iron sheets were very bad before that when it rained heavily the, the, there's a lot of water coming from from it. And and there and we cannot use the toilet till it stops rain. When we did the heavy rains our toilets collapsed, so we didn't have toilets and uh, some of the people, like the girls, could not attend the school because of lack of enough toilets, especially during the menstruation period. Also, dropout ratio was very high because now for the big girls, it was not good for them. They thought it was not good for them to go to the bush. So you see, a girl went to the bush, it would be better. The guys thought it would be better for them just to drop out of school and uh, stay at home. Mwangala uh, Primary School, at one time the public health officer in charge of, of uh, Likoni went to inspect the school and was so uh, surprised to see that the school had uh, collapsed uh, latrines and so he felt the need to close the school because of the standards, they were just too low. Lucky for Mombasa County, the governor heard about it and the governor started mobilizing for resources. In line with His Excellency Governor Hassan Ali Joho's vision, the County Government of Mombasa has initiated the school sanitation project through the Department of Water, Environment and Natural Resources with support from the Royal Dutch Government. The school and sanitation project was initiated by His Excellency Hassan Ali Joho. This project will benefit uh, 94 primary public schools and it will also benefit around 70,000 school children. So we started by first of all identifying the ratio uh, that is basically standardized. And we realized that a lot of our public schools, uh, 80 or so percent of our public schools needed uh, uh, to be supported by a way of creating new sanitation blocks. So far we have uh, done uh, three schools have been completed, 28 more schools uh, have been tended. The cost of uh, the 31 primary schools uh, is uh, roughly uh, around 300 uh, million Kenya shillings. We envisage to complete uh, all the schools, the first uh, batch of the schools by mid-2016. Uh, Schools that will benefit from this project include Mrima Primary School, Longo Primary School, Likoni Primary School, Dingrikani Primary School, among others. Similar sanitation challenges have equally been facing teachers, which has gravely affected teaching and learning in our schools. <laughs> The teachers were not able to access school toilets because they were not in good condition. They didn't have sufficient water even. That also affected us. Our feeding habits changed. We couldn't drink water because you don't want to risk be pressed and you have nowhere to go. 
whatever amount of food you take, you limit because if you get full, you need to release some and then you see. They used to leave school compound to Nakumat, which is about one kilometer, in order to go and look for toilets. Kuruwaku na choki moja ndo tuengia wali muote, male na female. Wanaingia choki moja. Alafu kama uko kwa period, pia sa nyingilu kwa change kwa staff. Kuna staff kule ya deputy. Tuenda uko. Wa change pad uko. Tuenda na muenda kwa mafunga mlango. Alafu wa change pad, wa beba pad yako, wa talk. So embarrassing. I, I want, want some, some boys saw me get into the toilet. And then uh, decided to play naughty. Took some rocks and stones and threw at me. You know, without, without even finishing my stuff, I'm out. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? You see? So embarrassing. Now, what, uh, what face do I have in front of that child? In recognition of the importance of teachers in schools, the program also addresses their plight. Initially, uh, the teachers also never had these facilities and therefore uh, they would actually require to travel uh, several kilometers to be able to meet these specific needs. And uh, that has now changed. We're able to retain the teachers in school. I'm, I'm happy to say we feel now we are teachers. Our self-esteem is back because now I don't share a, 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 a toilet that is a bad state with my, my students. They're enough, to the, even they're they more than the required ratio. Plenty of water, plenty in number, clean, you know. I feel great, definitely. I feel great. I am in a good school where pupils are happy, teachers are happy. And that one definitely will make me walk tall because I'm very sure my teachers are going to produce very good results and my pupils are reading very hard. That tells me performance will be very good year 2016. For far too long, most schools have gone without running water and this has always posed a great risk to the health and the well-being of our children. And there, were, there was no enough water to wash our hands after the toilets and, and some of us were becoming sick. There are some of my friends who come to school smelling bad, smelling very bad, but not because they like it, but because there is no enough water at home to use. But now they can shower at school. If they shower, if they sh they take a shower at school, they they feel happy because nobody is telling them that you're smelling bad. I don't want to sit with you. I don't want to even to come near you. Because of drought and famine, most of the people couldn't come. So we used to send them to the ocean. Can come with water, jerry can water. To come and pour it in there. To come and use it to wash the toilets. Good sanitation and adequate water go hand in hand, and that is why the county government of Mombasa, through the Water Sanitation and Hygiene Project, is providing water connectivity to every school. The project also entails uh, that uh, in each and every school they would uh, have proper running water facilities. So for those schools that did not have water would now have water. <laughs> There'll be no more diseases because so far we're not, we're not expressing the diseases. There's also enough water which we never used to have previously because we did not have the water harvesting system. But at least now with the water harvesting system, we have also enough water. Kinashukuru kwa sasa hizi county imetuletea maji. Nafikiri sasa watoto wetu watapata shida maji maana maji yako.
The program will also run an intensive hygiene and sanitation sensitization to ensure the proper use of the facilities and inculcate the virtues of cleanliness to our children from a very young age. And outside the toilet block there would be a hand wash area uh, with the proper detergent whereby they will be taught that once you finish your business in the toilet you come outside and wash your hands properly so that uh, you can protect yourselves from all uh, the diseases like cholera uh, and uh, diarrhea which are water related. Uh. Firstly we have appointed some people who are the heads who will be taking care of the toilets both for girls and boys. We have also given them the certain days where they are going to do the cleanliness. That is on Mondays, we have boys from class 4 who participate in cleaning. On Tuesdays, class 5, boys, that is, that's on the boys' side. So class 4 on Monday, class 5 on Tuesday, class 6 on Wednesday, class 7 on Thursday, and class 8 on Fridays. Clean, cleaning the toilets takes place early in the morning and late in the evening. This project extends further to the community by allowing residents neighboring the schools to access the water. We've been suffering a lot due to lack of water. We used to walk for two hours to the source of water, only to get two jerry cans, and most times we would transnight, because at night there is less traffic. We would then walk back home for two hours. Salt water was sold at 30 shillings, and fresh water at 40 shillings. But thanks to this project, the water is now near, fresh, and free of charge. We thank Governor Hassan Ali Joho for this water project, and we pray for him to continue bringing us more protein. The program also includes an intensive training for the teachers on proper hygiene and sanitation standards and maintenance of the facilities. Gender separation, separated and functioning toilets. Already, this is not the gender. If you are a man, a woman, a man, a woman, a woman, a special unit, a man, a woman, a woman, a woman. Ya pili ni functionalizing the school health club. Ni mesha wa mbia mbia tukito of school health clubs na formula. This project stands a beacon of hope for the thousands of children of Mombasa and generations to come. With the new toilets, I feel my needs have been taken care of and I feel dignified and respected as a girl child. Thank you, Mombasa County. <laughs>